minutes ago. Our Board of Visitors approved unanimously the appointment of Dr. Angel Cabrera as our president for a term that will begin on July 1st, 2012. I'd like to congratulate the board, the search committee, particularly Ernst and Loving, for their intelligence in identifying an incredible person to take George Mason to its next step. Angel has got the, the approach, he's got the intelligence, he's got the energy level that will take George Mason to the next step. But I also like to congratulate Angel for having the sense to accept the offer <laughs> and to come to George Mason. So you, you will get the bag as, as part of the deal. First of all, you will get this. This is our holiday card, which has pictures and celebrates the 40 years of George Mason University. I think it'll give you a quick summary of what we, what we are. I need you hold them there. Uh, in here, we must open this. I can do it in a tie. <laughs> George Mason pin with the George Mason logo, which, by the way, gets more attention than any other logo. <laughs> so I'll give you the two wife. And then, this gets very serious at this point in time, we now give you the George Mason lighted ball. <laughs> this either for you and your wife or for your children, whoever else. And yeah, we, when I travel and others travel around the world, we take these with us because they're easy to store, and we find high-level executives in different parts of the world playing with them as we do job. <laughs> they go through security, they light up through security. I, I love what this university stands for. I love that it's a university that is not concerned about keeping and maintaining the status quo, but in fact, is a university that exists to, to challenge the status quo and that it prides, prides itself of exactly that. A university that is innovative, in fact carries that in its own motto, and a, a university that is entrepreneurial, that is looking for new ways to make a difference. I, I'm a passionate educator. I've dedicated most of my professional life to education because I feel there is no other way to, to make a difference in the world. And I believe that every, every day, uh, the job of educators is to figure out how, how we can make a bigger difference, a bigger impact. Uh, and it's an impact by changing the lives of the students who come here. It is, the, it, it is making a difference by, by shaping the thinking of, uh, of, of people around us through the thought leadership of our faculty. It is also making a difference by helping uh, develop the, the communities where we live. And, and what uh, Mason has done in, in, in Northern Virginia is, is absolutely amazing. And it's not just the, the, the monies that the university has spent and the buildings it's built and the monies that it employs and the students and the faculty spend around us. It's actually the, the, the core of, of the economy of this region. It is the reason why companies from around the world actually might choose to do business in this, in this area. So, uh, so that's, that's my, my commitment to you. That's the excitement that, that drew me to, uh, to, to this place and, and, and what I hope to be able to contribute one last word, I, I, I always think that um, the way we, we draw org charts sometimes in organizations is totally wrong. And, and sometimes I like to draw org charts upside down. Because um, leaders exist to serve, not to be served. Um, the, the, the leader of the organization should be drawn at the bottom of the org chart, not the top. Because the rest of the staff, the faculty, don't exist to serve the leader, the leader exists to serve them. That's, that's the honor, that's, that's the role of any leader, is how do I, how can I help the folks that are driving the university, the faculty that are doing the job, how do I help them be more successful? That is my definition of leadership. I, I, I can't thank all of you enough for, for the confidence you, you, you have expressed in, in me. I know it is. It is somewhat uh, scary uh, after you've had this amazingly long and successful presidency uh, to try to think what is it going to be like with the new guy. In that, we are, I think, uh, aligned because it's scary for me too. So, <laughs> so I, uh, we're on the same page. Uh, but I, I, I feel very good. I have, I have a very strong gut feeling that this is right. Uh, I feel like 
again, every time, every person I've met, I feel this is right. I, um, I love my current institution. It's, it's been more than a job. I love Thunderbird. I love the mission and what it stands for. It's been an incredibly hard decision for me to make. It's a very emotional decision. But as I get to know you, I am more and more convinced that this is just right. Thank you so much.